Hi, my name, hi, my name's Ron. Um, I had a few rapture dreams in the past I'd like to share. One was on Christmas of 2014. That dream, back then I used to be a fucking crackhead. I wasn't good. I, there was nothing good about me, but God still came to show me love. But anyways, that dream. I was in my bedroom and I started, my brother came in the room and when he came in, he said something to me, he said, come to the bathroom. So I walked in the bathroom and all of a sudden I was in the kitchen making out with some girl and all of a sudden I was back in my bed. And I started hearing a bus thing he put over me. And the bus thing, I, I, I don't know what language it was in, but I started flying through the heavens really fast, really fast. And I've seen the galaxies get smaller and smaller and smaller. And I finally broke the atmosphere of heaven. And I started flying. I seen two dinosaurs, two dinosaurs grazing in the grass. Flew a little farther. Kind of went down. I got a swoop. See something like a, I also, I also seen like a cartoon character. It was a horse with the wings on his face that was alive. That was weird. And I seen like this very corny looking Batman toy that was alive. And yeah, I didn't like that. that it was weird. But then when I flew by, I seen those two things. Flew by, I seen I seen a beaver. It wasn't a beaver, it was like a rabbit between beaver cross mix. But anyways, it was really weird. And then I flew over top of that, and, I, and it was, it was on, I'll get back to it. It was then on its belly, it was, it, was gold, it was white with gold fur. And it, then it was um, laying on its belly, swimming in the water. Flew over that, I fell in the mud. I was pissed. <laughs> you know, I was pissed. I fell in the mud. And I instantly got up, I was, I was instantly clean. And I thought that was really cool. Yeah, I felt like I was really there. I really did. Yeah, so. But anyways, I, um, I found the mud, got up and got back on the thing I was standing on. So I had to fly in some more. I flew by these pillars. They, they, were, they were like little temples. Not temples, but rocks that were shaped through straight up. But they had boulders falling from the side. But the boulders were going nowhere, and they were coming from nowhere. So I found that really... I, it's so hard to think about it. Where the heck were they going? Where are they going from? Where are they falling to? Right? So, yeah. And then I heard a voice say, 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 you've seen enough, and I woke up. I was so mad. It was Christmas morning. I was so mad. I'm like, I was in paradise. Now I'm back here living this shitty life. What am I going to do? Go do a couple lines. Um... Smoke a couple rocks. Or I keep being Paris. Which one do I want? And that's what I was gonna that's what I was that's what I did for Christmas. After having that dream. But anyway, on uh, two thousand but but now but now I'm clean. Now I'm clean. I've been clean for a year and a half, so good for me. Yeah. But anyways. Um Oh, did I tell you what today is? September, no, February 11th, 2014. No, 2017, I mean. Yeah. I just want to throw that out there, so I think we must know what day it is. I have this dream. But anyway, it's um, February, no, um, 2015, I had a dream that the rapture, the rapture took place. And this dream was kind of weird. I'll just tell you the end of it. I'll tell you a little bit about it. I was in the middle of the ocean. So I'm really, I'm, I don't like water that much. I'm not comfortable with the water. And I was in the, in the middle of the ocean, and I was just flying around, floating around. But I see this little thing. It, would, it was like a spaceship. It would go over, and it open up. And I knew it was, I knew it was the coming of the, the, coming of the Lord. So I tried to get to it as fast as I could. And this was on Boxing Day of 2015. I had a dream of Christian that dream of Boxing Day. And I, I've, had, I've had other dreams too, but it's not good enough. Right now, I get into the future. I promise. But anyway, 
I, and then all of a sudden I was out of park. I just skipped over a little bit of it, but all of a sudden I was in the park. And this ball was the same one I was chasing after. And it kind of was flying around and I seen it hit the ground and it opened up and I heard a kid scream. I see, I see, he's like, I see, I hear one kid scream. I forget what he screamed. He screamed something like, we're in trouble and then one screamed. I see, I see satellites. No, I see, I see fireworks. And I heard a voice cut on and it said, whoever believes in me is welcome. That's what the voice said. And then, going on to 2016, my dream, the dream I just had. Now this dream was cool. I was at this party with this girl I'm trying to meet. I I know what she looks like and everything is just I don't matter. You know it's this it's this thing A so you can do that. <laughs> anyway, I thought I was at I it was the first time I met her. I'm not that good of a of a speaker. Sometimes I slur my words and it's hard to understand me. I understand that. I'm trying to talk my so I wish my best right now. But anyways In the stream, I got her place and she got mad and she kicked me out. I went out and it was night. I I seen the star. It was chasing it was chasing me it was chasing after me like I knew it was Satan. I knew it was Satan chasing after me, trying to get me. And all of a sudden as it got closer and closer and closer, I started flying super fast, super fast, super fast, like flying super fast, away from it. It was trying to keep up, but it couldn't. And then all of a sudden, I was in heaven. And I heard this pastor, and I thought I, thought I, I, thought I just woke up at the house. So I thought I was watching TV. I thought there was some pastor on TV I was listening to. And I was looking straight forward, and I, I always see was the pastor. And um, I started looking around, I started seeing how the atmosphere was changing with the people standing, and the people standing. So I put my hands on, and I, I see this black guy who looks really shocked. I pat him on the belly, I say, I pat him on the chest, I'm like, don't worry, man, I'm rabbit, don't worry, it's all cool. And he, and he just doesn't say anything. But I was walking, I, I was walking out, I see people I used to know, I'm like, oh, I used to know you, I used to know you, I used to know you. And I was talking to him, I didn't talk to him, any of them. But then I went outside, I was just walking to, to find my place, I found it, but as I was walking to find it, I seen these boxes. They were delivering themselves. They had little eyes, little mouths, and little shadow legs. And the only thing I get from that is that they were they were trying to deliver themselves to their to their house where they had where they had the presents or the where they the people receive their guests, like what it says in heaven. You you receive gifts for your rewards, for the rewards that you do. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that they were rewarding gifts. But a little joke that came up, and I got to my house, opened the door, and I woke up. But anyway, the little joke I came up with about it: heaven is so easy. When you go, when you get mail, and you know you know it's there, you gotta pick it up. You don't have to. You walk yourself right in. <laughs> I have to, that's funny. All right, nice talking to you guys. Yeah, that's you. Bye.